all fear is gone because I know yes I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives sing with all your heart this morning because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives oh all fear is gone it's because I know yes I know he holds my future oh yes he does life is worth the living it's just because he lives oh say because he lives yes i can face tomorrow oh because he lives hey, all fear is gone it's because I know oh he holds my fear and life is worth the living is just because he lives amen one more time with all your heart oh because he lives oh I can face tomorrow Yes, because he lives. Oh, all fear is gone. Because I know, yes, I know he holds my future. Oh, life is worth It's just because he lives Hallelujah, hallelujah Blessed be his holy name Amen I didn't tell Sister Bernice earlier, but that was a song I had in my list that I wanted to sing today. So when she started the service off with that, I said, well, we're in the right place at the right time. Amen. Amen. God knows exactly what he's what he doing. I know the, the weather is not favorable, but we are trusting the Lord just to keep us. Amen. Here, I want to read, amen, a scripture, uh, Psalm 91, to open a service and Anytime we have uh, weather like this, uh, we always turn to the word of the Lord and uh, we comfort ourselves in what God has promised us. Amen. He's a God that keeps his promises. Amen. He never fails. Uh, he used to sing a song, he never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. So, so we believe he, uh, he won't fail. Amen. Psalm 91 says this, says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust 
His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee that is god's promise directly to you it shall not come nigh thee it'll go all around you but it's not gonna come nigh thee amen uh, he goes on to say only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked amen because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling amen the reason why for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample upon, uh, trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Amen. And he also says, With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Amen. We thank the Lord for his word. Amen. Every promise that he has made is yea and amen. And not one word will fail. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer uh, this morning. Father, we certainly thank you for the privilege and the opportunity we have to gather uh, in the house of the uh, house of the Lord. We come to bring our worship. We come to bring our adoration. We come to bring our praise and lord we we know it's nothing but the enemy that would uh, uh uh try to bring a storm right at the time that service is supposed to start and uh lord we're we're try to put us all in harm's way but father we rebuke the enemy because we have power to do so the bible tells us that what we bind in heaven in the atmosphere, we it's bound on earth, and what we loose, Lord, uh, on earth is it's loosed in heaven. So, Father, we, we take the authority of the word of God and we bind the enemy that would try to come against us while we are here worshiping our God. I, re, I remember the, the prophet was there in a meeting one time in Germany, and Lord, there were some witch doctors that were causing a storm to come up, Father, where the meetings were. And Brother Branham said, he told the interpreter, don't interpret this, but he began to rebuke that storm. And Father, we, we rebuke the storm right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Father, not just where, where we are, but wherever the bride of Christ is gathered, we rebuke the storm right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that we would worship you in spirit and we would worship you in truth. Father, just commit the service into your hands. Bless the saints, Lord, that have made it. Those that are still on the way, give traveling mercies to God. Those that are joining online, bless them where they are, God. And Father, may you uh, get all the glory and the honor and the praise from everything that happens here in this service today. It's in Jesus Christ's name that we pray. Amen and amen. Come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Hey, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, no other name I know. Hey, come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Everybody bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Well, bless that wonderful name oh, of Je Jesus. Hey, no other name I know. Hey, we came to bless that wonderful name of jesus we're gonna bless that wonderful name of jesus oh bless that wonderful name 
Jesus, hey, no other name. Sing it again. Hey, come on and bless that wonderful name. Uh, yeah, yeah, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, there's no, hey, oh, now there is power, oh, power, wonder working power in the blood. Oh, uh, the Lamb, hey, there is power, yes. Oh, wonder working power in the precious blood. Hey, there is power, yeah, power. Oh, wonder working power in the blood. Hallelujah. Oh, now there is. Yes, it is a wonder-working power. It's in the precious blood. Oh, one more time now. There is power. A wonder-working power in the blood. Oh, the Lamb. Hallelujah. There is power. Hey. Wonder working power in the press. Oh, say, what a mighty God we serve. Hey, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Oh, the angels bow before him. Oh, heaven and earth adore him. Hey, what a mighty God. We serve, yeah, what a mighty God. Hallelujah, say, what a mighty God. Oh, we serve, and the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. Oh, what a mighty God. We serve, yeah, you know that Jesus is the God. We serve. Oh, Jesus is a God. We serve. Hallelujah, say. And heaven and earth adore him. Oh, Jesus is a God. We serve. Oh, what a mighty God. Say, what a mighty God. Oh, say, what a mighty God. We serve, oh, you know the angels bow before him, and heaven and earth are told, oh, what a mighty God. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Hey, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Come on and bless that wonderful name. Oh, of G, no other. Hey, oh, come on and bless that wonderful name of. Hey, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of, of Jesus. No other, no other name I know. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> amen, amen. Praise the Lord. You can be seated, amen, in the presence of the Lord. Um, we, we have a, a couple things uh, kind of lined up for you on today. Uh, I want to say it's good to see Brother Franco. God bless you. Amen. Good to have you here in the house of the Lord. Amen. But let's, um, um, I had a, a couple things that I wanted to do. And um, we um, um, got a couple specials that are lined up. And then also I want to just make time this morning uh, for you all to hear a, a missionary 
uh, report, an update on the missionary uh, report that Brother Quentin's going to give us in a little bit. But uh, let's um, let's get some of our specials, Amen, uh, this morning before we before we get into that. Uh, and uh, we got a we got a, a pleasant, a very pleasant surprise, Amen, this morning. Sister Capus is going to sing a special for us today. Amen. And you, you, I mean, the Lord has brought her from a mighty, a mighty long way. Amen. And, and uh, you know, she came and I mean, I, it was raining pretty hard out there. And I was just, I said, I, cause y'all know how Florida is. It'll rain and then you just got to wait and it'll pass over. Right. And, uh, and, but, but Sister Capers didn't wait for it to pass over. She was using her walker coming on up in here amen in, in the rain and i said well my lord my lord and when i found out she wanted to do a special i'm like yes praise the lord we're gonna let her come right on up and sing for the lord come on up sister capers amen we certainly appreciate her we thank the lord for her. god is so good yeah yeah amen amen Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you, sis. Praise God. It's been a while since I sang. Y'all pray for me. My voice is not like it used to be, but I do my best. Give God glory. Lord, make me desperate, lest I perish. Help me to pray, to be so your word. Both night and day, don't let complacency set in. For the day is nearing an end. Let me hunger and thirst for you with desperation. When Satan show me the shiny thing, let me look the other way. When the riches of the world try to hunt me down. Let me draw closer to you day by day. And when I'm faced with something I don't understand, let me hold fast to your unchanging hand. I don't want to be caught up in anything, Lord, but you. Lord, make me desperate. Let I perish. Help me to pray. Feed on your word both night and day. Don't let complacency set in. For the day is nearing an end. Let me hunger and thirst for you with desperation. God, give me wisdom, Lord, as I run this race. Discern my heart when I kneel to pray. I desire to do your perfect will. No impersonation, I want to be real. I'm expecting, Lord, it won't be long, and I must give birth to this promised son. Help me to be ready, Lord, for the time is soon to come. Lord, make me desperate, lest I perish. Help me to pray. To feed on your word both night and day. 
don't let complacency set in. For the day is near an end. Let me hunger and thirst for you with desperation. This song been on my heart all week. I still know what I got to sing this song. Because it's a blessing to me so much. And I play this to you all. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. It certainly, it certainly was a blessing to us, Sister Capers. And, man, and even God orchestrated for Sister Gina to be here this morning to be able to play it for you. So we, we thank the Lord uh, for that. You know, when, when I remember when the enemy first attacked her, uh, there and I went out to visit them and um, Sister Capers um, and Brother Capers just sitting in the house just singing song after song after song and you know sometimes when you're doing that it just brings an atmosphere into your home the presence of the Lord just kind of comes near and and we have watched God uh, on a week by week verse base a man just continue to touch our sister uh, bring healing to her. Healing comes in, in multiple ways. Sometimes it's instant. Uh, you pray and things change just like that. And other times it's uh, what we call a span of time. And, uh, and we watch God do this over a span of time. And, and for her to stand here this morning uh, and sing that song, I feel like hell has received a man a blow. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. It, it, it means so much, amen, for her to do that. So we, we thank the Lord for her, amen. I believe we had a, a special from Sister Abby, is that right? Amen. Let's, let's welcome Sister Abby, amen, this morning. Praise the Lord. And, and after, after her, I have uh, Brother Quentin come, and he's going to come and just give a uh, report, amen, on the missions, amen. Before I knew my name, before I drew a breath, He was making ways for me. And now and every day, in each and every step, He is making ways for me. Cause when my heart is full of doubt, and feels like faith is running out I've come too far to turn around I know God will work it out God will work it out past the fear, fighting to believe, He is making ways for me. Cause He won't let me down, never ever leave, He's still making ways for me. Cause when my heart is full of doubt, and feels like faith is running out i've come too far to turn around i know i know god will work it out god will work it out Oh, God will work it out. 
Cause oh God, we'll work it out Be still, my soul Be still and know Lean in, take So God will work it out. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. Appreciate that, Sister Abby. Uh, wonderful uh, word of encouragement. God will work it out. One thing I know, one thing I found, God will work it out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Brother Quentin, we're going to have you come at this time and, and give our um, missionary or missions report, I should say. Amen. God bless you, saints. I uh, wanted to give a, a quick update on, on the missions and what we as Spirit and Truth Tabernacle have done um, this year in terms of, am I right? <laughs> in terms of um, um, missions report so let's go to the next slide um so this mission supported areas pakistan ukraine um malawi and, and vision books is what we have for, so far next slide okay so here's um a, a, a situation in pakistan we have a brother um earthquake hit here and damaged his house and so um it was a pastor actually um, so we were able to send some funds to help um, him repair his house there. Amen. Um, UK, I mean Ukraine war. Um, this is uh, a greeting from um, some of the uh, uh, sister there. You want to go ahead and play that? Go back. Go back one. Yeah. Is the mute this? Thank you. 
здесь нет ни работы, никаких привилегий. Мы даже не можем выехать куда-то даже лицо, потому что у нас семья, военно обязанные братья сборные, и мы не можем бросить. Господь нас не бросил, и мы не можем бросить. Поэтому мы очень вам благодарны за нашу помощь. Это для нас очень многое, много, много очень значит. Вот, потому что работать здесь это очень сложно. И вообще в Украине очень сложно. Поэтому пусть Господь благословит вас и укрепит. Спасибо вам за все. Слава Господу. Аминь. So I, I, is, I thought it was important for you guys to hear from their own voice of other things that we're dealing with, that they're dealing with. Next slide. And this one, um, this one is just recently, that was kind of like at the beginning or early on in it. In, um, and this, this is a video of, they're still doing, um, going through some challenges. Um, so, okay. Okay, so that's just, that's another family um, as we're continuing to support. We support it through uh, um, Brother Barry Coffee there at uh, uh, Hickory ba um, Bible Tabernacle. So we send funds through them, and, and that's how they get it. Next. Okay, not, don't play that. And here, um, this is in um, Malawi. And in Malawi, they went through, they had a, a cyclone that hit um, and devastated the area pretty bad. I mean, um, I think we'll may show some of it, but what what was ha happening here is they lost everything pretty much, right? And so the families um, didn't have food, didn't have anything. And so um, we were ha had the opportunity um, to uh, support the families there. Um, I think it was like $100 would support a family, right? Uh -huh. So what we sent, we sent enough to support 15 families, right? Amen. <laughs> and this is a, 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 a video of them kind of preparing the, the food for the fa different families. This is just a short clip for that. Next slide. And this is a, a, a them celebrating and rejoicing for being homeless and hungry and being able to get some of the, the receipts on the food. Go ahead. So as you can imagine, you know, not having any food and what that would do is the Lord has blessed them and given them some food. So that jubilation that you're, you're seeing is just them expressing what God has done for them. And this is a, one of the brothers um, um, giving thanks to um, 
for the, the donations that we've given them. Go ahead, please. Okay. So, and that's so that's a but um, Malawi. So you can see how we're uh, spirit and truth are reaching out in the world in terms of missions. Next slide, please. Go back one. Okay, double click on that. So this is Vision Books, and Vision Books, their mission is to uh, print the message, and you, you have to do escape first. You print the message, and which in remote areas, there's no uh, message books being given out anymore, right? So for the they, Brother Barry had the vision to... Um, Go ahead and um, print books and Bibles. We send Bibles. We send other printed material um, like the Hoffman Head of Christ and those things. Um, so, and this is a, go back, this is a newsletter that um, we um, are in now in the process of distributing. I, I can't remember if it's going to be monthly or quarterly. Um, but I work on the board with, for Vision Books, as Brother Jack has mentioned before. So um, we're now kind of like gearing up to um, provide information and, 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 and show what Vision Books is doing um, to help the believers, particularly in the remote areas. And we'll see that where, where we're reaching at right now. So next slide. All right, this is uh, Brother Branham. Um, a quote from Brother Branham. Um, Always my heart still burns for overseas to see that the great need of the people in, this, in that country and how they are so loving and want to receive the gospel so bad. They just want to hear about the Lord Jesus. Okay, so that's just a quote from Brother Branham. It's continuing on his um, the mission. Next slide. And this is just Brother Barry. He's writing um, uh, just supporting thinking of people it says here I'll just read this part uh, your support makes it possible for vision books to meet the need of providing the message to believers worldwide in every language on the earth right so the interpretation not only do we there's interpreters who interpret the message and print a, and, and put them in print as well next and so these are the countries right so this is where the the uh, the books are going, and we, uh, as a church, we provide 300 a month um, to support this this mission, and they reach in all of those countries you can see there. Amen. All right, next. Uh, this is just some of the saints who were receiving some of the books. Here, um, there's a distribution center. Um, that we um, Vision Books have opened and provided. So there's a distribution in Malawi, and that distribution center actually receives the books, and then they were out to able to send them out to the different countries and remote areas as well. Next, okay. So this is just kind of like the uh, share the vision. That's what it is. We have set up uh, PayPal for donations, Cash App for donations, um, and if you interested in knowing more you can there's a their website there visionbooks.org and if you want to get the um on the list for the um, newsletter we can make that happen as well okay thank you god bless well we we thank the lord that um we have an opportunity to make an impact uh, in other places in the world, and I, I, I know one thing: God does not forget uh, our labor, and, uh, and 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 what we're doing here. Sometimes, uh, you know, twenty-five dollars uh, for us, uh, it, it can be spent in one meal, uh, but for people, it can feed them for a whole month. And uh, so, when we, you know, we just just give a little bit, you know, it just kind of helps the uh, uh, it helps somebody else. So. We encourage you to just continue to give towards the missions, amen, as you can. Uh, a little bit goes a long way in, in other places. Let me have the announcements, amen, for this morning. 
and uh, we will do that. And I think, uh, Sister Sarah, you have a, a song? Okay, Sister Sarah will bring us a special, and then we'll have the word of the Lord. All right. So we have a birthday uh, coming up. Uh, Brother Josue Elias Ramon. Amen. Brother Josue Elias Ramon. Um, uh, he's going to be celebrating. Is this one year? Amen. One year for him on May 6th. What a, what a blessing. Amen. What a blessing for that. So that's uh, Saturday, May 6th. So we wish him a happy birthday. Uh, also, don't forget this uh, the, this uh, Wednesday, we'll have service at 730. Uh, streaming will continue through Twitter and um, Facebook. And um, um, Twitter is at Spirit and Truth T and Facebook, SAT Tabernacle. Um, and our church website, uh, also we do streaming, john423.org. Sisters will continue their virtual prayer um, on Tuesday at 730. And they were telling me, about um, one of the um, um, ladies that was prayed for, I believe it was, was a co-worker of Sister Virginia's. Uh, she was prayed for, God healed her, and uh, she came back on the, on the sister's prayer line to give thanks, you know, just give an update. And uh, ever since that time she gave thanks, she's also been connected uh, to the sister's prayer. And uh, it's just good to see that this is just kind of going uh, outside of just where we are. And, and I know sometimes, you know, uh, uh, many have said, we can't wait till we can get our own building, come back and pray uh, in the building. I, I think that's good, but let's let's not detract from what's going on here virtually because we're reaching people that we probably would have never met uh, or reached before, you know. So we thank God for uh, what is happening here through the virtual prayer. And, and sister started this off years ago. And uh, the brothers finally got on board and, and got behind it, um, you know, and, and, and we're doing ours on every other Tuesday night. But uh, it's been a real blessing, amen, thus far. So we thank God for that. Uh, on this Friday, being first Friday of the month, we always do our at-home tape service, amen, on Friday. And we all listen to the same tape. Uh, this week is going to be Exhortation of Divine Healing. Amen. That's 1951-0501. And uh, if, you, um, if you look at the church app, we also list it there in the church app uh, for that day. So just keep that in mind. We have a couples fellowship that's going to be happening on Saturday, May 6th. That's going to be at 6.30 p.m. And uh, we have the address of where it's going to be, uh, 2101 Vista Parkway, which is right down the street here, uh, Suite 134, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33411. So uh, inviting all the couples uh, to be a part of it. I believe they gave a, uh, a deadline for everyone to RSVP. Uh, so, uh, but we, we're looking forward to having that. I know ne next week, it's going to be next week, but we have a, I have a, uh, um, uh, we're going to have a guest um, that's just going to be here visiting. That's a precious brother. So, uh, um, Brother Smiley is actually in Lula, Georgia, preaching today, to, uh, two times today. And there's a brother in the church in Lula, Georgia, uh, by the name of Brother Aaron. Brother Aaron, um, yeah, I'm, I want to say it the, the, the Brother Aaron is very, very connected to what we do here. Uh, when I went there to Lula a few, few, uh, a few months ago, uh, Brother Aaron said, yeah, brother, the sermon you preached on Sunday. I said, you just heard the sermon on Sunday? And he said, well, I work on a rooftop. And uh, I'm up there by myself. So, you know, I just go to the website and just, and I hear everything, you know. I say, well, praise the Lord, brother. And, and not only do he hear everything, he see everything. Amen. Because he asked me, how is Sister Shonda doing? <laughs> and the way he knows Sister Shonda, because Brother, brother uh, uh, Simba puts the name of everybody. And, and he, it, so Brother Aaron coming to visit. And he's going to want to shake some of y'all hands. And, and when he call your name, just know he, he saw you on the video. <laughs> he saw you on the video. But, but I, I, I just felt like he was just very connected to what we're doing. And I, and I appreciate that. I, I really appreciate that. But next weekend, he and his wife and children, I think his sister-in-law, they're going to be coming to visit us, amen, on next weekend. So looking forward to that. And, and I know that him and his wife are going to also join us at the, the Couples Fellowship Amen. So we, we thank God for that. Our church picnic going to be coming up uh, on May, Monday, May 29th. That's Memorial Day. 
and uh, we got the address there at Haverhill Park that we'll be ha having the picnic there uh, on Memorial Day. So keep that in mind. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our giving multiple ways we have through Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal for those that are online. Those that are in the house of the Lord, there is a box on the back table that you can do your giving in if you desire to. But uh, anyone can use Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal. We do discourage PayPal because PayPal does take fees uh, for some reason. They do that. But uh, Cash App and Zelle, are, are they, they're fee-less. So uh, Cash App is dollar sign, spirit and truth T. Zelle is giving at john423.org. And uh, and uh, uh, PayPal is also giving at john423.org. Uh, if you want to mail uh, offering in, we certainly welcome that. P.O. Box 222462, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33422. Amen. Um, and I, I did I did uh, want to acknowledge and just thank the Lord for uh, for Brother Clergy. Amen. Will Will Clergy being with us. God bless you. Amen. So good to see you. So good to see you. Amen. Uh, let's pray over our giving. I don't think I have any praise reports or prayer requests either, but we'll pray. Amen. And then we'll have Sister Sarah come and just give us a special. Uh, Father, we are grateful for um, what you have done through our giving. Lord, even in missions, we just saw the report of people being blessed in Malawi, uh, Father in uh, Pakistan, Lord, just a number of places that our giving is reaching and, and we would never know that uh, something that leaves our pocket and Father goes to vision books and how they would distribute it. We would never know where it's going, but Father, we're just grateful that you have allowed us to be a part of what you're doing and we trust that you would continue to use this for your glory and for your honor. Uh, with every need that's out there, Lord, with sometimes beyond uh, the control of man. But we know with you in control, you can meet every need according to your riches and glory. So, God, continue to use us and to help us, Lord, to see the vision, to catch the vision and to step into the vision just to do our little part. Oh, God, it just makes a grand difference. As we now give today, we pray that you would use this for the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth. We thank you for the saints that give so faithfully. Lord, we ask that you would bless them abundantly. We've seen you bless. We've seen uh, uh, people get raises and promotions on their jobs. We, we've seen new businesses uh, come forth. We've seen customers be given to the businesses. Lord, we've seen you do what you said that you would do. You've done the exceeding, the abundant, above all we can ask or think. So, God, we're grateful for that. And, Father, as we just continue to do our part in giving, you told us that you rebuked the devour for our sake as we brought our time and our offering. This is a promise that we've seen you manifest in our lives. So we ask God that you would just continue to use our giving uh, for your glory. And Father, may you uh, just bless the people as they give from their hearts. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sister Sarah is going to come. Amen. And give us a man of special. Praise the Lord. God bless you. I'm really nervous, so sing along with me.
Praise the Lord, the God of angel armies is always on our side. Amen. We appreciate that, Sister Sarah. Amen. God, God richly bless you. Amen. Amen. It's just good to come to church. You, you never know what's going to happen when you get there. Amen. It's just good to be in church. Um, this morning, we, uh, we have our brother Troy, amen, our deacon, uh, that will be coming to bring us the word of the Lord. Uh, one of the brothers had asked me on went Friday night, I was like, we got a guest minister this week? I said, yes, we do, we do, we do. His name is Brother Troy. <laughs> and, uh, but we're just happy, we're just happy, amen, uh, that, that he could come and uh, just deliver his heart to us. I, I'm grateful for uh, all the help that God has given Spirit and Truth Tabernacle. Amen. And, and as I said, you know, oftentimes, uh, as uh, the Lord just opened doors for me to to go places, I, I'm 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 always happy that we have people that we can trust and we can depend on, and uh, that can just keep the church moving. And I mean, even after I, uh, last week, I, I was listening to the service, and man, brother Gene, thank you for coming and feeding the church. You know, just just wonderful. You know, just just wonderful. As a pastor, you just don't know what it means to have people you can trust. And man, you don't, you don't want to be away just worrying about, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. What? You don't want to be like that. You just know that the church going to get fed. They're going to eat. Everything going to run smooth. And that, you know, we're just going to keep moving on in the Lord. Amen. So let's stand to our feet. Amen. And um, I want to go back to because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Uh, because he lives, all fears are gone. And we will invite Brother Troy uh, uh, to the pulpit. Amen. This morning. Our deacon, Brother Troy Burrs. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone because I know oh he holds my future oh and life is worth the living just because he lives come on sing it with all your heart oh that one more time with all of our hearts because he
Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. What a sad state we would be in, amen, if, if our God hadn't risen. What a sad state of affairs in this hour, in this day, if we didn't have a revelation that our God's not dead. All right. Amen. But he is alive. Amen. 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 And the blood is still wet, <laughs> making intercession. All right. Amen. Oh, my. I, I'm trying not to go. Trying not to go in there. Let us uh, have a word of prayer. <laughs> Let us have a word of prayer. Most heavenly gracious Father, Lord God, we come, dear heavenly Father, Lord, as humble as we know how. Lord God, with our face bowed to the earth, Lord, from whence we came. Lord God, just vessels, O oh Father, to be used by you, Lord. Lord God, we ask you, O oh Father God, to take complete control. Lord God, we've had this day scheduled for some time. And Lord God, as we've been preparing for this message for some time, not knowing who would be here and who wouldn't be here. So Lord, we believe, Lord God, that you ordain this day, Lord God. Lord God, you ordain this message for those that are here this morning. Lord God, you don't make mistakes, Lord. But Lord God, you are a living God. Lord, you orchestrate things as you will. Now, Lord, we pray that you take complete control. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, we lift you up. We honor you. We give you all the praise and the honor, Lord. Hide me behind the cross that only you may be seen. In Jesus' name we pray. The church say amen. 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 Thank you. We're going to go straight to the word. I kind of set my timer. And uh, got a lot of information. Amen. I want you to, first we'll go to 2 Corinthians. Amen. 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, beginning at the 9th verse. Say amen when you have it. Oh my, what a, she appreciate the specials, the Abbey. And uh, my God, Sister Capers. All right. yeah. I was trying to hold it together back there, but y'all know I'm a bag of water. <laughs> Just leaking back there, Sister Capers. You got me? God bless you. God bless you, my sister. Amen. Not to miss uh, Sarah. I appreciate that, too. Good to see all those that are here. Amen. The storm is passing over. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I'm reminded of another song. Amen. Speak to the storm. Yes. Speak to the rain. Yes. You have the power yes. to Amen. bring about a change. Yes. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Second Corinthians, uh, the 12th chapter, ninth verse. Amen. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. 12, 12, 2 Corinthians, 12th chapter, 9, 2 Corinthians. Yeah, 12th chapter, 9th verse. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen, it will stop right there. Amen, let us go over to Judges, amen. The sixth chapter, we'll start to take a little reading from the first verse. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Amen. And it reads, uh, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, 
the children of Israel made them dens which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. You may be seated. Amen. This morning, oh my, we want to take a title, amen, from the prison house to the palace. From the prison to the palace. Amen. And uh, we see here, uh, if we continue right here on the, on, in, in 2 Corinthians, amen, uh, my strength is made perfect in weakness. And verse 10 says, therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Christ's sake. You see, we often uh, discouraged by all of these negative things that come about in our lives. But we think uh, that uh, for us to be victorious, amen, we have to uh, 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 be strong and not have trials. Amen. You see, but because uh, 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 of, of these things, amen, the Lord is working out his perfect will in our lives. Amen. So in order to be strong, Paul teaches us that sometimes we have to not rely on our human abilities. We have to rely on God's ability. Sometimes as people, we begin to rely too much on our own ability. And uh, uh, when we do that, sometimes we misstep, and 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 and, and we get ourselves in God's way here. Amen. amen. So we're going to be taking our text this morning. Amen. We're going to be typing here uh, 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 in in Judges. We see where the the, the Midian uh, uh, Israel had got themselves in, in in quite a pickle. Okay. Got themselves in trouble and. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll see it as we go on into the message here how, how, how uh, uh, the Midianites had came and, and got them in bondage. Okay. Amen. I want you to pay close attention to that word bondage. Amen. Because bondage, amen, is a form of being in prison. Amen. Can I preach this morning? Yeah, come on. And, and, and we see that um, this types a lot of, uh, of, of today. Many people are in prison, amen, amen. and uh, the sad thing about it is they don't know it. All right, all right. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Amen. So we see here in Judges, it says that Judges 14, the 6th chapter, the Lord looked upon and said, Go in this thy might, thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Now he's talking to Gideon here. Wow. Okay, I have, have, have not I sent thee. God has sent a prophet to that generation. Amen, and he sent the prophet to this generation. Because, see, we were uh, uh, in prison. We, 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 were, we were in, a, in bondage. Amen, and, and uh, we needed to come out of bondage. Amen. So... The 16th uh, verse here says, And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. See, when the Lord is fighting in your stead, see, the Midianites had a great army. They, they was, they, they, they was a, 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 a many number. But he said that I will fight with you, and they will be as one man. All right. Amen. So, uh, I want to look at the word here. We, 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 in the scripture there, it says that uh, that the power of Christ may rest upon them. Therefore, I take 
pleasure in infirmities, uh, in the reproaches, right. necessities, persecution, right. amen, and distresses for Christ's sake. Yes. Now, I want to, uh, if we take, a, take our time here to kind of build up and set a platform, amen, we want to take and sort of delve into this word just a little bit, pleasure. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this off because I feel a little constricted. I, I tried to keep it on. My wife said, oh, keep your coat on. I tried. I thank preacher with that thing on. Thank you, brother. I got to come out the coat. Hope that's okay. Preach. Amen. When we look at the word joy, sometimes we can lose our joy along the journey. Amen. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. He comes to take our joy. So the dictionary meaning of the word joy is a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. The emotion evoked by well-being success or good fortune by a prospect of uh, uh, possessing what one desires. Okay. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. That brings an experience of great pleasure. Joy is an inward emotion of our spirit. Right. It is a feeling that we all love to experience. And it's, it is actually something that God has designed for us to have remained in us. Amen. And that this joy might be full. Amen. 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 Every normal human being on the earth desires to be happy and have their lives filled with joy, right. peace, contentment. And so they're all of their desires. Amen. Amen. This is why the more pleasure. Nope, let me back it up. Miss something very important there. In the human heart, there is a deep that God placed in the human spirit that can only be satisfied by another deep. Only God can truly supply. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So this is why uh, 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 we find that the devil, amen, he comes against the joy, the true joy, All right. and would give you a substitute, amen, that you think is joy. Come on. He would give you a substitute, amen, of pleasure, amen, that is not godly pleasure, but it is a worldly pleasure. Amen. So we see here, amen, that Satan is also handing out pleasure. The Bible talks about the pleasure of sin is death. See, sin is pleasurable. But it has a baggage connected to it that is death. See? But God didn't, didn't want you to have not pleasure. He has provided ultimate pleasure. But sometimes we get a little bit confused on what pleasure really is. Psalm 16 and 11 says, Thou shalt show me the path of life. God reveals to you that he has your pathway all mapped out. Yeah. And if we go on there in 16th, Psalm 16, 11 verse, it says, that will show you the path of life, and in thy presence right. is the fullness of joy, right. and at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we see here, Amen. That God desires you to have pleasure. Okay. 
He designed your body in such a way, amen, amen that you can experience pleasure. Amen. The human body is designed in such a way that uh, uh, at, at, at experiences of pleasure, there are certain reactions that happen within your body. All right. All right. Amen. Uh, science has looked into it and they've named these different things. They are called dopamines and pheromones and these kind of things go to popping. Amen. And, 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 and when we are in an f- experience of exuberant pleasure, Your body and everything sort of responds, amen, to the way you feel. And all I love to feel, pleasure. Man, when something good happens to us, amen, uh, we can't fight the smile that comes upon our face. We can't fight the feeling that we feel within our heart. And all we just so happy. Bible says in Revelation, the fourth chapter, the eleventh verse, Thou art worthy of Lord, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, for thou hast created all things for what? For thy pleasure. That is, God himself loves pleasure. (laughs) Amen. Amen. So we see in that there that, 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 that pleasure it's not an evil thing. All right. Right. Even God loves pleasure. Oh, wow. Amen. Amen. All things was created for him and for his pleasure. Amen. 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 But you see that old devil. Oh, my. He comes and he gives you a false pleasure. Amen. A perverted pleasure. Right. Amen. And the joy that is connected with it is sin. My, sin is the main source of that pleasure. Amen. Pleasure that is connected to sin is a perverted pleasure. It is perverted from the genuine pleasure that the Lord wanted us to have. Amen. See, he's nothing but a copycat. He can't create nothing on his own, but he stood back in the shadows. And he watched everything that God did there in the Garden of Eden. And after God did everything, he stepped back and said, it's perfect. So he said, wow, now what I can do is I can come and pervert what he's done. There was pure love at that time. So he come and he pervert love. He perver- he's a perverter of everything that God has done. He's just a copycat. Right. Right. <sighs> Amen. Amen. So God designed us for the right kind of pleasure. Amen. Amen. Of the deepest level of joy. Yes. The long lasting pleasure. All right. Lasting satisfaction. That the world is unable to give. This joy I have. The world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. You by all of your modern forms of entertainment and technology is a mere substitute. Of the pleasure that God has. Amen. In thy presence is the fullness of joy. There's no greater joy, no greater pleasure, amen, than being in the presence of God. It is the ultimate pleasure. Satan, I don't care what he offers, you can't touch the pleasure that you feel, amen, if when you know the spirit of God is right there. A few weeks back, we were here in service. And right back in that corner, I can't recall what was going on. I don't believe it was song service or the word it was going forth, but something happened. My God. I don't know about nobody else, but I felt the feeling. Yeah. I felt the presence of the Lord. I believe the Sister Verna felt it. Yeah. Sister Verna felt I said, my God, the, that, he is here. Amen. 
there was such a atmosphere. There was such a move of God. See, you got to stay sensitive. I didn't know what to do. I just started bending and praising God. And, oh, Lord, I had to fight by tongues. And as I kind of caught myself, I saw that whole cone over there felt it. In that pleasure. That's the pleasure that I want to be in. That's the pleasure that I want to live in. But we see Satan. A lot of times people get themselves in a little bit of trouble. And during that time, amen, they go off the straight and narrow path. Yeah. They begin, amen, to start looking for pleasure elsewhere. Yes, sir. They start looking for pleasure, amen. Some look for pleasure in drugs. Some searching for pleasure Amen. And uh, cigarettes, right. which is just a gateway to something else. That's right. Some start looking for pleasure in alcohol. Right. Some look for pleasure right. in how they look. Right. Oh my. Oh my. Right. Some look for pleasure in attention. All right. Oh, if I can just dress a certain way to get the boy's attention. All right. I feel good about myself. Right. I feel a certain, oh, it makes me feel so good. Oh my. Careful, you're slipping down a slippery slope. Amen. Now, there's no doubt the prophet said it's natural for a woman to want to feel pretty. All right. Come on. But be careful right. because the devil can work in that. Right. Amen. Yes. That you can get a spirit on you. Amen. Amen. Said that become a tool for the devil. That's right. Now, sometimes in, in these things, people, the devil gets you searching for this worldly pleasure, and he'll set a trap for you. Yeah. Right. You find yourself out there, and you're doing things, and you get in trouble with the law. That's right. Because you're searching for pleasure. Wow. And you get yourself bound up. In bondage. Right. You get yourself tangled all up. Right. And you find yourself in the prison house. Amen. Right. Now, 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 now. You, 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 even in the prison. He's still giving you pleasure. Oh, my. There's a word here that's called uh, 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 what is it? Uh, 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 when you get in the jail and you don't want to get out, you become institutionalized. Wow. Wow. wow! You find yourself after you've been in prison for quite some time, and you don't, and you, you're feeling this worldly pleasure. You don't even know what real pleasure is. Wow! Wow! And you begin to get so dependent upon that pleasure, you can no longer function in society. Oh, wow! You begin to find pleasure even in bondage. Wow. And you begin to, oh, 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 well, this is, that's not even fun no more. God is trying to free you and want to free you from your sin. And uh, you don't even want to leave. Because you got institutionalized. Now, did a little research in that. And it says here, the social effects occur in two stages of the prison life, a period of confinement and re-entry into society, okay? Confinement and then re-entry into society. All inmates experience prisonization. This is what this is called. It's called prisonization. And they also experience a reduced social status upon their return to the community. The result is often a lonely, helpless life for the former inmate. The main psychological effect of imprisonment is self-condemnation, guilt, 
boredom, result, resulting in losses of perspective and of self-confidence. After release, the prisoners are often withdrawn from others. They also feel hostile towards society and the criminal, and, and the criminal justice system and constantly anxious. Now, we know from the message that these are just spirits, right. yeah. amen, that are there to keep you in bondage. Right. These are spirits from the pits of hell. Amen. Now, imprisonment also multiplies their pre-existing financial problems. There, neither the government nor the community helps ex-offenders deal with their problems. Inmates often receive vocational training in their, during their confinement, but seldom obtain employment in the job area following their release. As a result, Former inmates are highly vulnerable to future criminal involvement. Amen. Amen. So even once you're out, he still got his claws in. Well, Johnny, your release date coming up. I ain't got no job. How am I going to get by in the world? So all of these now on your way out, take these with you. We're going to let you go. But we, we got a rope on you. We got a rope on you. And I hope y'all see the parallel. He got a rope on you. I know you're going to mess up again. Because we have, we have established something in you. You left, but we put something on the inside of you, amen, that you can't get rid of. So, so what happens is they have these places called halfway houses. These kind of places are designed, amen, uh, to help the, 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 the uh, prisoner or the inmate or the, the convict or whatever acclimate themselves back into society. And they go to a certain house. And they live at the house. And at that house they have, uh, 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 they, they, they give them room and board and help them find the work and, 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 and it usually comes with counseling to help them acclimate themselves back into society. Amen. So we see Amen, that, 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 that you may have gotten yourself in a little trouble. Amen. That is our natural instance of how prison works. Yeah. Amen. Now, there's a spiritual application. Yes, sir. Amen. You may uh, uh, have, have, have done some things. Amen. We were all once in that prison confinement. Amen. And because of that prison confinement that we found ourselves in, amen, we took on certain spirits in our life. That's exactly right. And Satan, even though we're trying to go free, he got a rope on us. Always uh, 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 tugging at you. All right. Amen. And, and because, amen, uh, you got in there and you, 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 you made certain friends on the inside. Amen, and, and, and upon your release and upon their release, guess what? They're coming and trying to continue that friendship. Yeah. Amen. Amen, they say a lot of times a criminal will go into the prison, the prison industry and he come out a better criminal. Wow. Why? Because he just go in and he learn more tricks yeah. of the trade. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, and just become a better criminal. Amen. And we see here that, uh, that, that in life, amen, uh, Satan is trying to put you in confinement. Yeah. Amen. He wants to put you in prison. Yeah. Amen. And how does he put you in prison? He used something that you already know that you all have because he watched God put it in you and he know that you enjoy pleasure. Amen. And he can give you a little something from the gambling house. Amen. He give you a feeling. The next thing you know, you're robbing, trying, amen, to support that gambling habit. All right. 
And you begin to start breaking natural man's laws. Wow. Amen. And he gives you something else and uh, 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 you, you feel pretty or whatever more. And you begin to get out on the streets. Yes. And you find yourself, you done broke the man's law and find out in prison. But what about God's law? Wow. Amen. And you find yourself in a prison and a bondage. Satan has got you in that prison bond. He's got you in that bondage. Amen. And you don't know how to get out. Amen. So we got to stay out of the prison house. Amen. 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 But uh, 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 the prison house is necessary. Amen. The prison house is necessary. I want to read a quote here. Amen. Uh, let's see if I have it. Amen. I don't have the... Uh, the location of it. But uh, Johnny Crow. How many are familiar with old Johnny Crow? Amen. Prophet says, here not long ago, an old farmer uh, had a cornfield. Right. And the crow kept coming by and eating his corn. So he set a trap and caught one. He said, I'll fix the rest of them. He tied the one's foot and, and to the fence, and the poor old crow hobbled and jumped, and hobbled and jumped, and he couldn't get away. Right. Amen. And because he was tied up, he was starving. He could only eat an occasional kernel of corn that uh, 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 fell in his vicinity. Amen. He began to starve to death. Right. He got just so to where he could hardly fly. Amen. And he could hardly jump up and down anymore. See, uh, 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 one of the ultimate freedoms, amen, is being able to fly. We sang a song that some glad morning, uh, when this life is over, I'll fly away. Hallelujah. The ultimate form of freedom, amen, like that eagle is to be able to soar, amen, amongst the cloud. Amen. So he wanted to be free, amen, but he had a tether, amen, on his foot, and he was chained to a certain area. Amen. And all the other crows come by and holler, Johnny Crow, let's go. Amen. Let's go south. It's turning winter. Uh, you'll die sitting there. Right. Amen. And all other crows didn't understand what was wrong with old Johnny Crow. Yes. Why don't he come? Why don't he listen? And they begin to talk about it. What's wrong with you? Why don't you listen? <laughs> but they didn't understand he had a tether on him. That's right. And see what happened after a while, that tether kept holding him down and he got so weak. Amen. That one day the farmer came and took the tether off. I'm sorry. Let me finish reading my story. Y'all get me ahead of myself. I go blame that on y'all. The prophet said, one day a good man came out and said, that poor old crow, look at him hobbling around. And he's getting weak. So he caught the old fella, petted him a little bit, amen, and took him off the latch, right. off of his foot. Then turned him loose and said, all right, old boy, you can go now. Uh -huh. And he walked away. And the old crow just kept walking around in the same circle. Oh, he didn't have confidence on what the man said that you can go now. Right. Amen. Because he had been tethered there for so long. Amen. That now it was a mental thing. Yeah. Amen. He couldn't get over the fact. Amen. That, oh, this felt pretty good. Uh, I, I'm familiar with these here in this environment, so I think I'll just stay here. Wow. Even though we was free and could soar with the other, other, other crows and soar amongst the heavens, he had got institutionalized yeah. and found pleasure yes. in that little confined area. Yes. My God. That all right? Yes. And the crow, he said, 
come on, Johnny Crow, let's go south. The winter is coming and you'll die. Why sit ye here until you die? Amen. That's the way it is with men and women tonight, or today I should say, who don't know their position in Christ. The devil may have you tied up with tuberculosis. He may have you tied up with cancer. He may have you tied up with many things. But Christ, the good man, has stood your judgment now and has set you free tonight. God bless your heart. You can rise in power of the Holy Ghost. Let not, let's not go south, uh, but let's go towards glory, Amen. marching as a great invincible army and the living God. We're free this morning. Amen. Amen. Can't you hear the other saying, come on? All right. All right. What I once was bound by chains of sin, but today I've been cut loose. By Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Glory. So you see, amen, that we're battling, amen, not just with a physical confinement, amen, but it's a spiritual confinement. Amen. It's a spiritual bondage. Amen, that we find ourselves in sometimes. Amen. And sometimes uh, uh, we're battling the thoughts of our own mind. Amen. Let's look here in Judges. And we see the Midianites found themselves, I'm sorry, uh, Israel found themselves in bondage. Amen. And God had told Gideon to, I want you to go, have not I sent thee to set the people free. Amen. Amen. The challenge to Gideon uh, come into the union, amen, to bring his thoughts into the union of God's thoughts. See, this story of Gideon was written for us in this day, in this end time. There would also, amen, see, there, 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 let's look at uh, real quick here. Uh, getting ahead of myself. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let's look at the fourth seal. The fourth seal. Amen. Uh, put, get that up, and I want to. I want to read something here. Uh, da, 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 da. Amen. Amen. We want you to. I want to show you here where uh, Gideon. I'm sorry, Israel. They were held bondage. Amen. Uh, 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 by the Midianites, and there were three powers. Amen. There that 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 held them. Amen. Amen. Bear with me here. Amen. We will get to it. Let's just go on. And we see here that Gideon didn't have confidence that he was able to deliver. Because it was a, a great army. Amen. And, 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 and here we go. Praise the Lord. The story of Gideon. In the end time. When there were three powers that was gathered in, against us in this day. Amen. Three powers. But see there were three. Uh, uh, there was the Amalekites. There was the Canaanites. And then he think it was the children of the north. Amen. And these three powers had come together, amen, to come against Israel. Amen. And they had them in bondage. Uh, 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 they had them encamped. Let's just read it. Judges. Sixth chapter, the third verse. And so it was when Israel had sown that the Midianites came up and the Amalekites and the children of the east 
even came against them and they encamped against them and destroyed them and destroyed the increase of the earth and destroyed the increase of the earth till thou come into Gaza and left no sustenance for Israel. See, took away their ability to nourish themselves. Amen. Neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass, for they came up with their cattle and their tents. They came up as grasshoppers for multitude, for both they and their camels were without number, and they entered into the land to destroy it. <clears throat> and Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites, and the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, and, and it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites, the Lord set a prophet unto the children of Israel. So we see here, uh, it's just like today. Amen. The fourth seal, Brother Brandon told us that notice the Antichrist is on a pale horse. Amen. Mixed colors. A horse is a beast that represents a power. His power is all mixed up. Why? It's politics. It's national powers. And it's religious powers. It's demon powers. It's all kind of powers mixed together. The pale horse, he was a, he's got all kinds of powers. Amen. But Jesus come, it's on a solid horse. Amen. The word. Amen. But we see that pale horse, amen, is a mixture of the white horse. Amen. It's a mixture of the black horse and the red horse. See, we have those same powers, amen, that's coming against us today. Amen. Some people uh, get tied up and get in bondage, amen, with, with, with the religious powers. Amen. That has come to put us in bondage in this hour. Some people get tied up in politics, amen, and some people just get themselves out on the deep end, amen, and find themselves in all kind of trouble right. where they got all kind of demon oppressions and suppressions and all kind of things hanging on them and they want to be free, right. amen, but they need somebody to lead them to freedom. Hallelujah. Amen. But even when a person is leading them to freedom, amen, they, they find themselves not having confidence that they are actually free in their own mind. Amen. But the battle is in their own mind. Amen. They have to be able to come overcome the bondage of their own thoughts. If they can ever get their thoughts, amen, in line with God's thoughts, amen, they'll go free, amen, and they'll never look back. Amen. But the battle, amen, is to get their thoughts in line with God's thoughts. Amen. But you got these three great powers, amen, that are constantly making a noise. Amen. See, the Israel, amen, was there and they heard the noise. Amen. And they, what happens is fear set in. Amen. We have a great army to this side and a great army to that side and a great army to that side. But Gideon, he told, the Lord told uh, Gideon that I have you have given you to deliver them. Right, right. Amen. And we had a prophet in this hour. Amen. Amen. To, to, sent to deliver us. Amen. Amen. Out of our bondage. Yes, sir. Amen. Are you glad about it? Amen. Right. So we look on here. Amen. The story of Gideon. And Gideon said, Unto if thou wilt uh, save Israel by my own hands, thou hast said. Now look. Look at the doubt, amen, that, that, that Gideon had. Even though God had told him that Gideon still, he still wasn't convinced that he would be able to defeat this innumerable army. Right. As it were, only one man, as, as only one man, because he had begun, amen, he had been to the school. Now I put this in there. He had been to school. And he knew how to add. <laughs> so when he add, 
No, we can't do this. See, what was it? He was looking into himself. He was looking into his own human ability. Amen. And saying that, oh, how can I do it? Such a great army. But he really got to realize that he had more with him. Amen. Because God had already told him to do it. Amen. Amen. So in verse 37, he says here, Behold, I will put a fleece of wool in the floor. And if the dew be on the fleece only, and it be dry upon the earth, besides then shall I know that that will save Israel by my hand. And thou hast said. Verse 38, and it was so. He rose up early in the morning. And, and on, to, on the morrow, and thrust the fleece together and wringed out the dew out of the fleece and a, a, a bowl full of water. See? So God had begun, he had to build up the confidence, amen, of, 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 of uh, Gideon. See, Gideon was in his own self-doubt. Amen. Before he could go, how can I go, how can I lead this, this army amongst, he, I, he had to build up his own uh, uh, confidence, you see. So we see that the same parallels, amen, was with our own prophet. Amen, he gave Gideon three pulls. First, he gave him the, 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 angel, the, the, the staff of the angel into the bowl. And the next he told him, he said, if the fleece, amen, uh, 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 filled with water and the ground around the fleece was dry, right. amen. Then after that, he came back to him again. And he said, if you, uh, uh, this time, if the fleece was dry and the ground was wet around it. See, he gave him <laughs> three right, pulls, right, right. amen, to get his confidence up that I'm with you. Right. Go and deliver the people. Amen. We got to understand, my brothers and sisters, that the supernatural, amen, to the bride of Jesus Christ is no longer a supernatural. It's becoming a natural. Amen. The supernatural is more natural than the supernatural, if that makes sense. And see, that's what we're getting to. We're coming to a place, amen, where we expect the supernatural. We have to bring our mind thoughts, amen, in, in, in line with his thoughts. Amen. Amen. So many times people, are, we, we break the supernatural, love to see things. But this, we, well, this is a common occurrence. This is natural for us. Amen. This is not, everyone's jumping and tripping over themselves. Well, we praise the Lord because this is what he do every day. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what he do every day. That's exactly right. So we go on here and we see. Amen. That uh, Gideon uh, was had to go through these uh, things to bring his confidence in line with God's confidence. Yes. Amen. And see, it's the same things that you have to go through. Amen. There's things and uh, 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 torments and things in your life. Amen. And ask God deliver you from this. Amen. And He deliver you from that. And He answered that prayer. And He answers this prayer to bring your confidence up. Amen, so that you can realize, amen, that you can go free. Right. Amen, to what happens sometimes, amen, let's get back to the story here. You can get out of prison, and like I said, there's a rope, amen, that's connected to you. Wow. Wow. You want to go free, but the, the things that you've done in your past are always haunting you. All right. And you feel like, I can't go free because of the things that I've done. Amen. Because of the things that I said, because of the way that I've acted, wow. because of the way that I've responded. Amen. But I'm here to tell you this morning, amen, that there's a good man, amen, that has come and loose the shackles this morning. And you can go free. Yeah. Amen, amen. Amen. We find a lot of times that, that, that in the course of life, uh, we get ourselves so tangled up. Amen. Much like the children of Israel here. And we need a Gideon. We get ourselves so bound up in religious dogmas. We find ourselves so confused. Amen. That we don't know what's up or down. Amen. But God today has sent us a Gideon. 
in this hour, amen, to lead you out of the clutches of a great army. Amen, there's so many things against us. Amen, we have the political camp. Amen, and they're, they're instituting laws. Amen, laws that say men can get married now. They're instituting laws, amen, that goes against God's law. Amen, that's a political pressure. Amen, and we're beginning to see now, amen, that the religious, uh, the religious world is, 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 is coming into its place. Amen, and they're putting, amen, uh, uh, stipulations on people. Amen, and they're, it, the Bible says that it'll be so, the prophet said it'll be so close, amen, that it'll fool the very elect if it was possible. Yeah. Amen. We see that they're uh, having uh, 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 week-long services and everything confusing the people. Wow. They're up there and, and, and oh, the, the fire is falling. Oh, there's a revival right. and ain't nobody said nothing. Right. How do you have a, a fire and ain't nothing said? All y'all doing is singing for weeks and weeks at a time. Ain't nobody preached nothing. Right. And y'all call it a revival. But you know what? It has stimulated the pleasure senses, and you're feeling all right. But I got here to tell you that it's going to take more, amen, than having your pleasure feel good. It's going to take the sword, amen, of the word of God. It's going to take a supernatural God. Amen. We come not in words of speech, but in power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost inside. Amen. It's going to take more than enticing words. Amen. People, you got to see something this out. Oh Amen. To bring you out of bondage. Amen. The bondage of your own thoughts. Amen. Everybody think they're right. How can you tell me this? How can you tell me that? I'm not speaking to you from my own. I'm speaking to you from the voice of a prophet. And that prophet said that I'm the voice of God to you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. One of the hardest things it is to get the people, amen, to hear a prophet in this hour. Right. Amen. There's so much against them. Right. Amen. Sometimes, and the people that are, 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 are got a demon power, you found yourself so deep in sin and disgust, amen, that you can't even go free anymore. Right. You try to go free, you let out, amen, but there's a rope always pulling you back. Amen. Why, you got to cut away those old friends. Yeah. Amen. You got to cut away those things that was holding you. You can't waddle in that kind of stuff. You can't come to God and then go back and hang with your same friends. You got to cut them off. You got to turn your back on your friends. Sometimes you got to turn your back on family. Sometimes you got to turn your back on everything that is against God. You have to get yourself with a good counselor. You have to find yourself a good halfway house. Amen. And you have to stay there. Stay there. And to God, align your thoughts, amen, with his thoughts. And it give you power, amen, to go forth, give you the confidence, amen, that you can overcome. Amen. So he's going to have to do that by showing you that he is with you. You follow him. And then you get up. Say, Lord, he gave me a job. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If he can do that, what else can he do? And then he come and he bless you with something else. And you say, oh, my, if he did that, what else you could do? And then you begin to read, the line, the joy, and what you feel for pleasure. Yes, Amen. The old man is falling away. Yes. Amen. Behold, all things are becoming new. Yes. You begin to reset your pleasure senses. Yes. All those things don't give me pleasure no more. Amen. I found a new way of living. Yes. Amen. And it's joy. I'm finding joy. Like I never felt before. You begin to say to yourself, I can hardly wait for the church doors to open. Because that's where I find joy, peace in the presence of Almighty God. Amen. I don't have to go to the crack house. Amen. I don't have to go to the club. Amen. I go to church and find joy. I find joy in my home. Amen. When I open up the scripture. Yes, Amen. And I was going through something. And when I'm all by myself and he answered my question. Oh, Lord, and I'm in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Brother Jack was telling the testimony. How Brother and Sister Cable was sitting there singing. Amen. In the atmosphere right there in the home. Right there in the home, they're finding joy. Yes. Pleasure. Yes. 
in being in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Many times, amen, we find that the devil tries to pull us back. Amen, in those old things. Amen. We see here that, 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 that in, the, in the scripture here, your life story, amen, is, my God. My note says jumping all around. Y'all bear with me. Amen, amen. You love the Lord. Amen. Psalms 90 and 9, it says, For all our days are passed away. In our wrath, we still we spend our years as a tale that is told. So the Lord is, 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 is writing a story of your life from the beginning, amen, to the end there. And we see that uh, certain events along the pathway of our lives, amen, uh, 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 like we see how God wrote the story of Joseph. The events of Joseph's life, amen, told the story. Amen. But joy with jo Joseph was just a pawn. We see how, how he came from Jacob's house. Amen. To the prison house. He had to go through the prison house. Amen. In order to find himself in the palace. Amen. We see that uh, 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 Rahab the harlot, amen, she found herself, amen, in prison conditions, amen, because of the things that she was involved in, amen, she could, but she heard that there was a, a, a group coming, that there was a great army coming, and because of the respect she had for the Lord's people, she found herself, amen, from the prison house of prostitution and found herself in the, in the palace of Salmon's house. All right, all right. Amen, amen. We see uh, the pattern of, of Ruth. See, you have to understand the patterns, how God, how God does things. Ruth dealt with Naomi, amen, and she said, I'll, where you go, I'll go. And he, she went with, 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 uh, with Naomi and found herself there in the house of Boaz. Amen. We see David one time found himself in the prison of his own thoughts. He found himself in the prison of his mind because he, he had weighed off and, 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 and looked on Bathsheba. And he had did some things that he shouldn't have done. But he said, Lord, if you can restore the joy of my salvation. Amen. And he found himself Amen. Restored. Amen. He went from prison-like conditions. Amen. And found himself in the joy and pleasure. Amen. Seated with the Father in heavenly places. Right. Amen. We see. Amen. That uh, 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 you have to go through prison-like conditions. Amen. amen. You have to go through the prison. But he said that you can overcome. Amen. We have a prophet in this hour, amen, that have uh, told us some things that wasn't quite written in the book. Amen. But why we can say because these things was written on the back side of the book. All right. And what it does is it gives us a revelation of who we are. Amen. We went to the halfway house. Amen. You can't just jump back into society. You have to go to the halfway house. And we have a great counselor. Amen. That help us along the way. Show us things that we previously didn't know. Amen. And restore us back to our rightful self again. Amen. And take us out of the bondage of denominational influence. Amen. And put us back into the, uh, the influence of Almighty God. Amen. From the prison house to the palace. Amen. We see here, amen, that we, we, we have to go uh, back to the palace. In Job, we see he was in a great prison house experience. Amen. But he went through. Amen. And he came out uh, with a greater revelation of the resurrection in his heart. Amen. By going through the prison house. Amen. So we're so happy today. Amen. That the Lord has made a way of escape here. 
Amen. In the message, faith is works expressed. Uh, faith is works expressed. Uh, 1965. Preached in 1965. 1126. Amen. We see that the prophet here. <coughs> Amen. Was talking about people out of their mind. He said they were out of their mind. Their twisted arms and legs. Amen. Beating their heads like that. And she was crying, saying, deliver the people. Brother Branham said, help us. We're in trouble. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. They twisted arms and legs, beating their heads like that. And she was crying, saying, deliver uh, the people. Brother Branham said, help us. We're in trouble. Yeah. Amen. She herself, I know her. She belongs, I believe, to the church of Christ. You, Amen. Or the Christian church called church of the brethren so she I look around and said I wish I could and go on and look around and my little bitty body and them great big iron bars those poor people in there and you couldn't get to them them iron bars were so close together and I looked and they were beating their heads like they were out of their minds. See, the prophet said that we're living in a in a in an age here of neurotics. Yes. Amen. People want to go free. Amen. But they don't know how to, it's like they're beating their heads up against the bars. Amen. They're losing their mind. Amen. Amen. Now notice an age of we're almost uh, sent into totally insane we've arrived at that point today in the prison house of this age i seen some lights flickering amen around <coughs> i seen some lights flickering around and there and i look upon i looked up and stood the lord jesus christ and a light of rainbow around him he was looking right straight to me said deliver those people and he went away. And I thought, well, how could I deliver them? I haven't got strength enough, amen, in my arms to break those bars. See, he was just like Gideon. Amen. He was giving God excuses. How can I do this? Amen. And I said, uh, amen, and get those bars. And I said, house of hell, give way in the name of Jesus. And all the crackling and popping and rocks rolling and bars are falling and people running screaming delivered and screaming to the top of their voices that I, and was all delivered we see that's just like Gideon amen amen so once Gideon amen had a revelation okay Lord I can do this amen so he moved out amen judges the seventh chapter says he moved out then uh, Zerubbabel, who was Gideon, and all the people were with him, rose up early in the morning and pinched their tents beside, and the well of Herod, and the host of Midian, there on the north side by the hill of Mori, in the valley. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are with thee, are too many. Me give uh, with me to and me to give the Midianites into their hands. Lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, My own hand has saved thee. In order for the word, amen, you have to become weak enough. Amen. See, that's just it. You see, it, Gideon was looking within his own human ability. And like I said before, he could do the math. Yes. Amen. See, he was looking within his own ability. Amen. Well, we have to not look within our own ability. Right. Amen. But look at the word of God. Not my own ability, but what you say, Lord. Amen. See, you're not weak enough yet. 
amen, you're still looking within yourself. You still got a little too much strength. Amen, you're still a little too sassy. You're still a little, little too strong. Amen, I got to get you weak. Amen, so you say, God delivered me. Amen, we see the same thing here with Gideon. Gideon, you're too strong. You got too many people. Now, the Gideon, at the beginning of the conflict, amen, he was doubtful because it was so many people. And you're not adding to my army, but you're diminishing it? Amen. Right. You're not weak enough yet. So see, a lot of times, amen, we have things going through in our lives. See, a lot of times people think that uh, because you get saved, amen, all of a sudden all of the problems are gone away. No, but now we got to weaken you. We got to start picking things off of you. Amen. We got to take the you out of you and place God in there. Amen. You're not weak enough yet. Amen. You're still relying on your own abilities. Amen. We can't rely on our own abilities. Amen. So we go on here. Now, therefore, go and proclaim in the years of the people saying, whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart early. Amen. To Mount Gilead, and there returned the people 20 and 2,000, remained 10,000 people, 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. The message, uh, 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 they gone forth. Amen. So we see that Gideon's army had become smaller uh, and smaller. Amen. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many. Again, the people are yet too many. In other words, you need to be even weaker. All right. you, you are still too strong of yourself. You got to die some more. Right. Amen. There's still too much you involved. That's right. Amen. Bring them down into the water and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go down, go with thee and the same shall go with thee. And of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee. The same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, Everyone that lappeth up the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shalt thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that boweth down upon his knee to drink, and the number of them that lapped, putting their uh, hand to their mouth, there were 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink the water. And the Lord said unto Gideon, by three, the Lord said unto Gideon, by the 300 men that lapped, will I save you to deliver the Midianites unto thine hand and let all the other people go every man unto his place. So the people took uh, victuals and their hands in their hands and their trumpets and set at the rest of Israel every man unto his tent to, and retain those 300. Amen. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley. So those 300 men armed with no weapons but only trumpets and vessels. Amen. Weak, weaker. They could only, they, 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 they didn't have such great weapons and, and things of that nature. I'll see the math just didn't add up anymore. All right. Amen. The math just didn't add up. Amen. It was much like Joseph. Amen. He was weakest point. Amen. In prison. Amen. Didn't know how he was going to be lived, but he found himself. Amen. In the palace. We look at, amen, uh, 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 Abraham. Amen. The, the Melchizedek came to Abraham and the two angels, went down to Sodom, amen, to deliver uh, uh, Lot, amen, and his family, right. amen, out of Sodom, amen, and we're living in Sodomite conditions right. on today, right. amen, but see what happened was, amen, Sodom going out with the, with, with, he, uh, leading the family out, 
Amen. But his wife, Lot's wife, turned in her heart. Amen. She didn't actually turn to go back, but her heart was still back in the, what had happened. She had become institutionalized. Amen. And the devil had a rope on her. So her heart was still there. Amen. See, you got to turn your back on the devil. Amen. You got to create in me, Lord, a clean heart. Amen. And renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Amen. So we see, amen, that he, he, uh, Gideon had to get weaker within himself. Amen. He had to uh, 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 stop relying, amen, on his own ability, amen, to, to deliver himself out of the bondage that he was in. Amen. He had to, in order to deliver Israel, we see, amen, that uh, 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 our own Father God had stepped down, amen, from glory. Amen. And he, he put on a robe of flesh. Amen. And he came down into a pest house. Amen. Into a prison. Amen. In order to deliver us out of our prison. See, we were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Amen. We were born into prison-like conditions. Amen. But God had to come and deliver us. But when he went down into prison, amen, and took the keys from Satan, amen, on the third day he came back, amen, he rose with death and hell conquered, amen, with the keys to death, hell, and the grave, amen, to deliver us from prison, amen, and told us that we didn't have to be prison anymore. He said, I go, amen, to prepare a place for you that where I am, amen, you may be also. And we had a prophet in this hour that came and told us that he says, in my father's house, the word said, in my father's house is many mansions. If it was not so, I would not have told you so. But our prophet said, wait, wait a minute, that just don't sit right with me. Amen. I just can't see it that way. He said, in my father's house is many palaces. Uh -huh. He said, wait, well, that makes more sense. Uh -huh. In my father's house is many palaces. Uh -huh. See, so what we're doing, we're going from the prison house, and God has a palace. Yeah waiting for us amen. amen we're going from the prison amen to the palace amen amen amen, amen. 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 but you have to overcome your own thoughts have to overcome amen the conditions of being institutionalized amen you have to overcome and let the word deliver you amen and let the word have full Full preeminence in your life. Amen. You have to recondition yourself. I'm reminded uh, of a story. A young lady. Amen. Uh, 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 that was in prison. Amen. She, the prophet said that she went out. She would put on her short shorts and, and go down there and find herself to just to see uh, how she can get the boy's attention. Amen. And the prophet said that. He said that's the greatest tool that the devil has ever had. The greatest tool. He said he used it at the beginning and he'll use it at the end. See, she was still in bondage. She had, he said, now a lot of times we look at bondage. We may think a person, is, but sometimes, amen, uh, I was looking at a story, amen, and a man had, had a dream or whatever it was, and he went down into, in, in, into hell, and he seen where uh, 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 this demon had a, uh, this young lady on a leash, amen, she had, had on a leash and, and, and had, a, had a train like a dog, amen, and could, tell, could send that dog out, amen, to do certain things, do certain tricks, and then pull it back, snatch the dog back. See, it's just like that, you're in bondage. Wow. In bondage by that leash, the devil has full control of you. He, man, he lets you do what he wants you to do. Wow. And any time you try to go free, he pull that leash back. Wow. Like old Johnny Crow. Yeah. Amen. But like old Johnny Crow, one day, Johnny Crow realized, wait a minute, my foot feel a little lighter. Yeah. See, what had happened was Johnny Crow had got into the presence of the Almighty God. Yeah. And he began to feel, amen, the presence of the Lord. And Johnny Crow began to lift his foot a little bit. Yeah. 
Amen. And he began to flap his wings a little bit. He said, wait a minute, something's different. Amen. And the pleasure that he was feeling, amen, from going around that, he began to venture out just a little bit. He began to go a little bit further. He began to feel the strength in his wings coming back. He began to feel that he can hop a little higher. Amen. And he said, oh, now I'm free. And he began to shout. And he began to jump. Amen. And he go free and never look back at that corn yard again. Boy. Amen. And just like the devil may have you. Amen. On a leash. Hey, I'm here to tell you that God has taken the leash. And he's broke the bondages of sin. Boy. He's broke the bondages of the chains of the devil. Amen. And you can go free this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. All you have to do is realize within your heart what God has done for you. Amen. And turn your back on the devil Amen. and go free. Amen. Let us stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't know who may have, amen, the message may have been for. But see, a lot of times in our lives, amen, we have to go through bondage conditions. We have to go through conditions in our lives sometimes to weaken us. Amen. So that we can recognize that he loves us. Amen. And he's loose to bound. Sometimes, you know, we can be free and we can find ourselves going back into bondage. You just have to become weaker. If there's something conditioned in your life, maybe from the past that you're struggling with. We pray this morning, Heavenly Father, that you can break those bounds of chains within the mind of the people this morning. You're already free. You just have to go free within your own mind. He whom the Lord God set free is free indeed. We see that this, this, this society that we live in, everybody got rights. Amen. You might have found yourself in bondage. Amen. And that lamb, that dove has taken a flight. Because, see, he's not going to be bound. But he's just waiting right there to come back. Recognize who you are. Recognize that you're free this morning. Those bound chains of bondage that's holding you, they are no longer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, in this chopped up message, oh Father, Lord God, we thank you, oh Father God. We receive right now the pardon, oh Father God. Lord God, and Lord God, our natural ability, oh Father God, our human intellect, sometimes, Lord, we make mistakes and we find ourselves in bondage again. But, oh, Lord God, be like David, Lord, rejoice, restore the joy of thy salvation, O oh Father. Forgive me, Lord God, of my wrong. Forgive me, Lord God, of my transgressions, O oh God. Lord, I want to be free. I want to be free to soar amongst the heavens, O oh Father. Lord, I want to be free in your presence, O oh Lord God. Lord God, help us this morning, oh Father. Oh Lord, right now is the time. Hallelujah. Today is the day Jesus. of liberty. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. To recognize our freedom. As I read, though, the, the, one of the prisonization, one of the side effects, oh Father, of being in bondage is guilt. He holds you with guilt and shame but you can go free this morning cut the strings of bondage repent 
if you're godly sorry, you're truly sorry within your heart, just repent and turn your back on God. I mean on the devil. And go free. He is a mighty counselor. You find yourself in that halfway house to be acclimated back into the presence of God again. He's a great counselor. He's a mighty God. He's the Prince of Peace. Whom that the Son set free is free indeed. Lord, we thank you, Father. Thank you for a word this hour. Lord God, that has come and set us free, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord God, for sending us a prophet, Lord, that can untangle the knots, Lord, and take us out of the Babylon of, of conditions of confusion, Lord. Lord God, and show us that we're free. Show us who we are in you, Lord God. Lord, we just give you all the praise, all the glory. Have your own way, oh Father God. We ask these blessings. In Jesus' name I pray. Church, say amen. Seek in his face. Amen. appreciate you. Amen. Oh, in the cleft of the rock. Yes, and in your presence, oh God. Oh, it's in your presence. That's where I belong in your presence. Oh Lord, my God, in your presence. Yes, that's where I am strong when I'm seeking your face and touched by your grace. Oh, in the cleft of the rock, yes, in your presence, oh God. Come on, sing it again. In your presence, oh, in your presence, that's where I belong, Lord, in your presence. Oh, Lord, my God, in your presence. Oh, that's where I am strong when I'm seeking your face. And I've been touched by your grace. Oh, in the cleft of the rock, hey, in your presence, oh God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. You can just continue to play that softly, sis. Uh, we thoroughly appreciated the word of the Lord on today uh, from my brother Troy from prison to the palace and uh, sermon is just uh, loaded with nutrients um, and just a, a wonderful example of when a person is leaving prison and how um, oftentimes they are so affected by what happened to them and uh, even though they've gone through and they've been uh, given tools to try to be successful, yet there are things in society that still stands against them. And, uh, you know, and when you see somebody, and I, I recently have uh, watched that in, in a couple of gentlemen's life, they were released from prison, and, and uh, one of the things that I saw them do, and Brother Troll was talking about, you know, going to halfway house and, 
and uh, when you you know just just doing everything you can getting the counsel that you need and one of the things i saw these gentlemen do we were we would get together on a call every morning at uh about uh, it would be eight o'clock our time but where they lived it would be about 6 30 in the morning six o'clock their time and they would get on that call and just listen to the word just listen to the word just listen to the word and uh and as they did that eventually god began to open up doors they got jobs and they got vehicles they got all kind of things in order to kind of bring themselves back in society but what what started it is just staying connected with the word of god Amen. Stand connected to the word of God. So I, I just appreciated that. Just wonderful thought. Amen. This morning from prison to the palace. God bless you, Brother Troy. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. And, and that one quote that anytime I hear anybody read it, uh, you know, house of hell give way to the press to the name uh, to the, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I had never heard that quote before. And I've been in this message for years. <laughs> And the very first person that preached that that uh, with that quote where I heard it for the first time was Caleb Wesco. Amen. And I say, how the hell give way to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? <laughs> My, I remember he, he preached that, uh, I think it was a Friday night or some service we had and he, he brought that quote out and that, and that thing, it just stuck with me and, and it's, it's gone with me many places all over the world that same quote but it's just so good to see amen how God used that that, 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 that example in Brother Brandon's life to show us that we were all in bondage but we needed freedom we needed freedom thank God that he sent us freedom amen praise the Lord God is good amen God is good um, you all just be seated just for a moment amen uh, I wanted to just uh, take just a, a, a tad bit of your time, if you don't mind. Amen. And I wanted to uh, just take a moment to acknowledge um, my precious wife. Amen. Uh, she is a real jewel. Amen. And, and I know that uh, I would not have been able to do uh, what has been done. Uh, if it had not been for her. Uh, tomorrow, we'll be celebrating uh, our 30th wedding anniversary. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And um, <laughs> for myself, you know, I, I was just kind of reflecting in this thing and seeing you know, when we were courting, we didn't talk about uh, pastoring a church <laughs> or uh, any of that. That was not part of our conversation. And, um, you know, we, um, uh, we, uh, two young people that fell in love and got married and raised a family and, and somewhere along the way, God called us to all of what we're doing right now. And, um, and, 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 and when God called uh, us, I mean, I, I just remember the whole process and, and I was just praying that the Lord would just also speak to my wife. I knew what he was telling me, but I had to wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord for him to speak to her. And he began to deal with her in dreams. And, and as we began to find out what the meaning of the dreams were, we realized that this is nothing but the hand of the Lord. And, and I, and I appreciate her because she had to surrender as well. Uh, to the perfect will of God, amen. And in surrendering, uh, we have been able to um, just help others, amen, in our journey. So we're, we're very grateful for that. So uh, I wanted to uh, say happy anniversary to my wife, amen. And, and I got something for you, so come on, come on up, amen. Come on up, just just a little something, amen, that, that I, I got for you. But I, I could not let the... Uh, the time go by and not a man uh, thank you for the 30 years that you have stood by my side amen I love you I appreciate you I thank God for you and uh, I know I could not have done this without you amen so it's 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 we we we, we um, you all know that I couldn't um, take a uh, like the young people go today man I, I <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. I mean, some of the young people, boy, they be going places for their honeymoon. You going where? I mean, they have to save for a lifetime to go to places like that. But we went to Avon Park. <laughs> Avon Park. And, and here, now here's the, here's the thing I'm going to tell you. For the young people that do it big, make sure you keep it together. Keep, keep, keep it together, right? 
And uh, I mean, and because when you when you do things like that, you put a little spotlight on you, right? And people want to make sure you keep your marriage together. So fight with everything you got to keep it together. Amen. But uh, but we 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 you know we just didn't have it. That's just the way it was. We didn't have it. And uh, but the the Lord has blessed us uh, uh, because of our, our surrender to the Lord. He has blessed us and. And a few weeks from now, I'm going to be fulfilling a dream that she had. Because I asked her, I said, where would you, if we had the chance to do it all over again, where would you want to go? And she told me she wanted to go to Greece. And I said, well, praise the Lord. And she said, but there's only one other piece to this that, um, that uh, I need to tell you. She said, I want my children to go with me. I said, ooh, Lord, we got a lot of children and a couple of them married. <laughs> we got grandchildren nine. I say, well, we're going to make it happen, and the Lord has blessed us, and uh, so a few weeks from now, we'll be taking a cruise uh, to, uh, we're starting in Rome, and we're we'll end in Greece, amen, and, and we're looking forward to, to that, amen, so, uh, you know, we, we made a little pact that we wouldn't buy each other presents, uh, because we, we, uh, we got a, um, we paid a lot of money for the cruise, so I appreciate that, but I just had to do something for you to thank you. Amen. So if I could just have, amen, uh, my, my little package, amen, I'd really, really appreciate it. Amen. I, I, I had to give her a little something um, just to tell her I, I, I thank God for. Happy anniversary. Amen. Happy anniversary. Amen. What'd you say, dear? What? <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary. 30 roses for 30 years. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Happy anniversary, dear. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord. <laughs> we certainly thank the Lord. And I'm, I'm, um, she just been just a, um, a person to catch all my blind sides, um, you know, things that I, that I might not think about. And, and she had to just tell me, see, now the sister asked you that and she's thinking this, huh? She's thinking what? Let me just tell you how a woman thinks. A woman is thinking this. When they actually, I said, okay, all right, let me rethink how I'm going to respond to this. I need help. I need help. I mean, a wife is there to help. Uh, she's a helpmate, you know, to me. And, and I realized uh, just, you know, again, over the years, we wouldn't have been as successful if I didn't have her. If I didn't have her. Yep, most of y'all know me, and, I, and I'm still, this. I got this uh, reputation of being tough duff. And y'all know I'm a rough guy. Y'all know I am. And, and, and with a wife, it's kind of helped temper some of them things down. But if I didn't have a wife, y'all probably wouldn't like me too much. Amen. But I, I thank God for I really, really appreciate. Amen. The Lord for giving me Sister Erica. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I won't take more of your time, but we want to say God bless you. We'll have a word of prayer. Amen. And, and um, actually, you know, there is. I, I did. Um, I had something that I wanted to do uh, since we're celebrating 30 years. And I'm going to ask you to come again. Brother Kwaku, would you mind just having a word of prayer? Amen. Over me and Sister Erica. Amen. On today. Amen. Thank you so much, my brother. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you this day. We bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your goodness and your mercy. Father, just as you came from heaven to look for a wife, a bride, to marry Lord Jesus Christ, seeing that even you Almighty couldn't do it without an elected body. And Father, out of the planets, you selected this earth. You didn't select Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, but Lord, you picked our flesh from this earth to be the wife of Jesus Christ, to be the queen of heaven, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, Lord, your sons and daughters, Lord, cannot do it. Your ministers cannot do it without a wife from the hands of God. Father, we thank you this day, Lord Jesus Christ, 30 years ago, even as my brother was saying that he didn't even have an idea that you're going to call him to be a pastor, to be a minister, maybe not even a song leader, Lord Jesus Christ. By your coordination, Lord Father, 
move him lord father of all the women around him lord jesus his love fell upon our precious sister sister erica daff lord jesus you got them married lord father you bless them with three beautiful daughters lord jesus sister alexandra sister rebecca sister sarah lord jesus and grandbabies as well father lord little elias lord jesus father we pray blessing lord jesus from heaven lord upon my brother lord uh, uh, brother jack duff and sister erica duff lord jesus christ even as they continue to serve you lord may the angel of the lord father be around them lord protect them and bless them lord jesus be the head of protection around them father even as they travel to have a, 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 a missing vacation that they didn't have when they got married lord jesus to greece to rome and lord father may the pillar of fire lord jesus take them and their children and as many as are going with them father on that on that uh, uh, trip lord jesus christ lord cruz lord yeah. take them lord father protect them lord on the on the on the seas lord and the cities that they will be they will be anchoring lord jesus christ bless them to have a wonderful time lord a time of memory lord a time of love lord a time of blessing lord jesus that they will say the lord jesus christ has done what we couldn't do father bless the ministry father i believe they are only starting lord jesus father lord this is only the beginning father lord you have ministries in first pool second pool and third pool lord this might just be the first pool lord jesus as you usher them in another pool of the of the of the of the ministry of love serving your people and serving you lord jesus bless them mightily lord father i pray for their health lord jesus brother jack and sister rick and their children and their families my lord bless their health father for they cannot serve you without their health lord jesus bless lord their mind lord jesus bless their finances lord bless their home lord jesus bless their children lord bless their mothers their brothers and their sisters lord bless their, their the congregation father i pray father lord we know brother jack ministry is not only spirit and truth but lord you use him father in many places to touch other ministries the love of sister erica is not just for the husband not for the children but for other brothers and sisters father I continue to open the hearts of love bless them lord more of your love that they can give more to you bless the church father that they are serving lord jesus bless the people that their lives are touching lord that wherever they stand father they will not see brother jack and sister erica but they will see jesus christ emanating out of their life they will see the pillar of fire coming from their hearts and manifesting your glory. Father, I pronounce your blessing from the throne of heaven upon Brother Jack Dove and Sister Rika Dove and their children, grandchildren. And if there is time, loving their great grandchildren. Father Lord, you said none of the seed, as David said, that they that save you, their seed, their seed will not beg for bread. Lord, and how much more they will beg for bread. Bless their thoughts, bless their desires bless their prayers and before they even pray you answer their prayers bless them beyond measure that the blessed will call them blessed in jesus christ name we pray amen glory amen amen praise the lord oh my i i certainly thank god my brother Kwaku just said something there in his prayer and um, it's one of the things I, I struggle with um, and he said it I know brother um, brother Walker has come and, and he stated it as well to me uh, but uh, the ministry that the Lord has blessed us with um, we get calls from everywhere not looking for it not praying for it not asking for it but uh, just different ones that want us to come and try to be a blessing, you know, to their their, their church. Last week when we went to the the um, the, uh, the wedding, and we stayed over to go to church. There, there's there's some things that happen that I I I have to just wait to share. Uh, but I know that God sends us places for a reason. And um, I mean, just uh, I, my mom was, I was talking to her yesterday and, you know, one of, I tell you, the struggle is that, well, what, 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 what do I take? What don't I take? And, you know, what, what, what do I do with all of this? When I worked, I could say no to everybody. I got to work. I can't do that. Uh, but now that I work for the Lord, 
uh, my uncle or cousin told me, he says, well, yeah, yeah, when God wants you to do something, he just put it on your schedule. I said, that's, that's a hard thing for me to understand and comprehend, but I am trying to yield to the perfect will of God. And I, I solicit your prayer, church, that, that, that you would just pray pray for me, and, uh, that God would just help me through this. But they're, they're just, I just, I'm just, just a guy from Pleasant City. And, um, and I, I just, I, I thank God for all the open doors that he's given me. While we were in um, um, Virginia a few weeks ago for my uncle's um, uh, inauguration, uh, they had some food that they were serving, and um, and they had people there serving food, and and I was coming through the line uh, to get my food, and uh, and I I just, I, I just eggs and sausage and bacon or whatever it was, and I'm just getting my food, and I'm gonna go on and eat. And as I'm coming through the line, this lady, a servant, she say, well, um, you know, she started telling me all her life story. And, you know, her son served in the military and, and all these things. She's just going on and on and on. And then I'm like, okay, well, praise the Lord. That's good. And, and, uh, and I guess when I said praise the Lord, she knew I was a Christian. And she just right there stopped. She said, you know what? Uh, I'm touching and agreeing with you right now in the name of Jesus that God's going to give you everything you desire in your heart right now in the name of Jesus. I'm touch I say, okay, I, I agree. I touch and agree. She said she took her hand off them eggs and put it in my hand and, and she, and she starts speaking in tongues. And I like, I just came to get breakfast, <laughs> but I got a blessing at breakfast. And, and she did that to me and all the other people come through and I'm like, well, why does she pick me out in the crowd to do that? God just do things. We don't understand why he do things. But I tell you one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to fight with God. I'm going to just yield to the Lord and I'm just let him be God. And, and one of the things that, I'm, that I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy about is that God has sent this church help that if, uh, if, if I get a call, I know that I got brothers I can I can. I can lean on, I can trust, amen, that they, ain't nobody going to be doing nothing different. I thank God for that. I thank God for that, but I, I appreciate, I appreciate the, the, you know, just everything, but I, I ask, and I sincerely ask, you all please keep me in prayer. I'm always trying to find what is the will of the Lord, what is the will of the Lord, the perfect will of the Lord, um, you know, for me, amen. And, 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 and when, I, when I work, like I said, it was easy. Oh, no, brother, I can't do that. I work. I can't. No, I can't do that. Now I can't tell him that. I have to come up with, I just got to pray. I got to wait and see what the Lord give me, you know. And then, I, and then I go from there. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, oh, God. Let's pray. We're going to dismiss. Father, um, we thank you for all that you've done here today. From the prison house to the palace. Many of us could identify with what our precious brother Troy was speaking of today. And God, even I know uh, sometimes the way that you use uh, things that we've gone through in life, God, to, 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 to minister to others. Lord, it's just so it's, it's a beautiful picture. And Lord, as our, our brother just yielded himself to you, Lord, I, I like he said at the beginning, Lord, in his prayer, you orchestrated and ordained this day. We didn't, we didn't know who would be here and who wouldn't, but we, we knew that the, the service was planned a while ago. So, Father, you, 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 do, you get the glory, you get the praise, you get the honor from everything that happened here in this place today. Nothing happened by chance or by mistake. Lord, from the very first song to even now, nothing happened by chance. So we just thank you, Lord, that uh, you've spoken to our hearts. And I believe, Lord, that there are many that will go free. Those that even heard it on, uh, on this live stream going free, those that will hear the video later, people are going free because of the word of God. And Lord, we just ask that you just continue to use our precious brother. I want to thank you, Lord, for giving me and my precious wife 30 years of marriage. 
Uh, God, just what a what a blessing it has been, and we've had some trials and tribulations, but Lord, we stand victorious because you have given us the victory. And Lord, I just pray that you just continue to uh, bless us, Lord, in our journey. And Lord, even in when we started in marriage, we had no idea that we'd be in the position that we are right now. That was not a part of our discussion. We didn't know that, but we yielded. Lord, and, and now you've taken the ministry, and Father, you use it not only just to bless the saints right here in this area, but Father, other places in the world, you use it, use the ministry. We haven't asked for these things, but God, we want to continue to yield to your perfect will for our lives. What would you have us to do, Lord? We want to do it. We want to be faithful. And Father, I just pray that you just continue to watch over us as a church. You know what we stand in need of. You know how we believe in you, Father, for the impossible. And Lord, uh, we just believe that we are in the right place at the right time. This is the season for us to receive what you have for us. So Lord, help us to keep walking by faith and not by sight. We pray your blessings on the saints as they leave this place today, Father. May they go meditating and thinking on the word of God. Bring us back at the appointed time on Wednesday night. May you get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise from all that we do. So in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God richly bless you, church. Amen. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday night uh, for our Bible study. Uh, trust in the Lord to meet us in a special way. God bless you. The brothers will come uh, to dismiss you. And uh, brother... Franco, God bless you. Brother Clerge, God bless you. Good to have you all with us today.